Hi guys, this is Tony and this is Good Japan, Bad Japan. This is a Teaching English in Japan episode, so of course I've got to do an item of the day. Today's item of the day is Fig Jam from Denmark. Have you ever tried anything like this before? Have you tried Fig Jam? Is it good? Put something in the comments. This is something I found in my local supermarket. They've got a lot of foreign goods. Makes me happy. All right, so today's episode is talking about schedules. So, a Kaiwa and business English versus grade school schedules. I've dabbled in both worlds, so I'm going to give you my two cents, and also I'm going to give you some secondhand information from friends that I've talked to that work in both worlds. So, grade school, we're talking like the interacts, the interacts of Japan where you're going to be at a kindergarten, elementary, middle school, or high school. Most likely, your day will start at about 8.15, and you will likely be finished around 4. You're going to be working four or five days a week, but from my personal experience, those companies will work your schedule in a, such a way to where you'll be under 30 hours a week. So I might, I might be eight to four, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, but Wednesday's my kindergarten day. I teach two hours and go home. So anytime your schedule is under 30 hours, this is just your company wanting to save money and not wanting to pay to give you better health insurance. So that's, that's a reality. Uh, do you work under 30 hours? Please put something in the comments if you're having to pay all of your health insurance and pension by yourself. Uh, that's, that's one of those raw deals about working grade school is the insurance. But uh, Eikaiwa schedules, uh, business English schedules, these are erratic and spotty. And it doesn't matter what company you work for, in my opinion, it really depends on the assignments that you get. Grade school, you could have nine schools like I did. A Kaiwa, business English, you could have multiple clients. It's not uncommon to teach adults and to have to travel by train or car to get to different locations on different days. Now, whether or not you're working more or less than 30 hours is also entirely depending on your contract. Uh, but from what I've experienced, what I work now is a 1 to 7.30 shift Monday through Friday. So I'm working 32 and a half hours a week. So my insurance is done through my company. They, they automatically deduct it from my salary. I don't have to worry about it. And I believe I save a little more money than if I was under 30 hours a week. This may not be the case for people who are under 30 hours who teach business English or do a Kiwas. Now, the big difference that I've seen from people who work the A Kaiwa route is that your schedule will likely start in the afternoon and finish in the evening. My, my schedule is a case in point. I start at one, I finish at 7.30. I have a friend who sometimes finishes at 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. during the week. And it just, it really, it really depends on who your clients are. These are adults. They're the ones who are working from eight to four or eight to six while their children are in school. So when do they have time to learn English? It's usually going to be later in the day. If you're lucky, maybe you're stationed at one place. Maybe you get to teach and the employees get to come take your class during work time so that your schedule is not so bad. Uh, other cases, you may not be so lucky. So it just, it really depends on the client, but you, you could be working, you could be working eight different clients. You may not find out your next assignment until the next day. Really, there's a lot of similarities between grade school and the A Kiowa business English route, because you, in both cases, you could have a lot of clients where you have to tailor lessons specifically to where you're going. So that's that's all I wanted to say. I think I think the best part about the grade school schedule is that you're finished at four, 
most most often and you get the rest of the day to yourself. The really nice part I find about my current schedule starting at one is that if I want to sleep in, I can sleep in. If I want to run errands, I can go to the bank. I can go to the supermarket, the doctor, you name it. Uh, most people who work a job, a full-time job here in Japan, they're in the office from eight to six and it's going to be very difficult for them to step out in some cases to take care of business. Uh, but I get to come home. I'm home before eight. I eat dinner and I have a few hours to relax. So for me, that schedule has turned out to be quite nice. What's your schedule like if you are teaching in Japan or if you taught in Japan, what was your schedule like? Put that in the comments. What do you think of English teaching schedules in Japan in general? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they bad? I would love to get your opinion. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.